Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So oh, we have a good news. Bitcoin closed uh, in green the last week and last month and also closed about the 200 week moving average. My name is Mike Denkler from CoreMX and we are bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial or investment advice, so everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only. So please smash those like, push the bell and notification or smashing those like helping out the YouTube algorithm and thank you for smashing those like. So let's go and check out our favorite bubble chart, let's see what's happening out there and but um yes so the crypto market is correcting today we see bitcoin down three percent ethereum almost down six percent um and uh, now bitcoin is just traded at uh, 23,000 us dollar and uh, um, ethereum at 1600 and we see few coins rallied uh, really well night uh, last week as binance coin uh, still in 12% uh, and uh, profit in a week and also we see Ethereum uh, is a uh, fine coin all the coins that uh, pumped a few days ago now they are correcting but Chile is just today made a 15% nice profit so guys let's go and check out our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index it is at 33 still in the fear zone yesterday it was at 38 uh, 39 and also just remember since uh, November we are uh, moving uh, down into the fear zone just left the extreme fear zone that uh, the index was uh, dipping also to these extreme low levels now the investor sentiment is getting a little bit better but we are far away from the greed zone let's go and check out our first news that fidelity macro expert experts says bitcoin and ethereum now impenetrable markets here is what it means so per metcalf's law the bigger the network gets the more exponentially the variation of the network becomes so this is a network effect and i have used the example of apple computer well, you can see if you look at their annual reven revenues, the more iPhones uh, and all the stuff that they sell, the variation goes up expan exponentially to that until it gets to the point. And then when it gets to the point where the network is so powerful that it has such a large mode around it that even if I intend a far better iPhone tomorrow, I'm never going to be able to penetrate that network because it's too powerful. So guys, Bitcoin and Ethereum getting this momentum according to the network effect. Effect, just like Ethereum, uh, just like uh, Apple, just like Amazon and other other unicorns. And I think Ethereum and Bitcoin have reached those thresholds. That doesn't mean there won't be other coins and other networks out there, but I think they have satisfied the test to become big enough. To be believed and taken seriously right a couple of years ago <clears throat> a lot of investors said well this can get regulated out of existence pretty quickly that ship has sailed i think so at least this is a good news for the future <clears throat> let's go and check out our next news best monthly gain since october 2021 uh, five things to know in bitcoin this week July closed with Bitcoin up almost 17%, but now analysts are turning to uh, how long the bull uh, bullish trend can last. Spot price snatches back bear market trend lines, so this chart is, is showing us <coughs> the general monthly profits and losses that Bitcoin uh, made in the past few years, so the monthly returns. You see July is almost uh, a, a good month but August yeah, is, is a kind of but September used to be a bad month and October November December a good month for Bitcoin okay 
here with a chart <coughs> dvm close btc closed d red a vm close green and trend uh, precognition fired a new long on the m it's tentative until the candle closes yeah after monthly closed about 2017 all-time high from last cycle price is slowly climbing up looks good so, so far and even if this is a bear market i'm happy to buy dips right now this is from josh josh rager also from crypto tony i'm looking for a breakdown of this bitcoin pattern and remain short why we are below the 24,000 US dollar supply zone okay let's quote monthly also appears to be reclaiming its 180 week exponential high moving average a level we have talked about over the last few months as a macro accumulation area for BTC this closes Sunday night yeah so also it closed about this 200 day moving uh, 200 day mo weekly moving average M macro tigger school for august big seller stepped in for oil on friday looks like oil is poised for a breakdown taking the cpi with it yes yeah, so all the oil price uh, seems to be breaking down and then the cpi numbers will be breaking down as well so maybe this bear market probably will continue if we see uh, commodity prices going down and CPI goes so just it's cooling down things uh, is if inflation comes down fast enough which is feasible and Europe's energy crisis isn't uh, exacerbated by a harsh winter also feasible this could end up being the beginning of the bull market nobody knows as of now okay <clears throat> cool rsi raises questions over price bottom the only way to see july 2022 low as the cycle bottom is if we were to see the april 2021 bitcoin and altcoin rsi and bullish momentum peaked in april 2021 and never recovered for the rest of the cycle do you think we bottomed so this is the error sign that uh, has never be, uh, recovered since last year april purpose etf finally adds to holdings so purpose etf uh, i think this is a canadian etf uh, it's buying bitcoin and now uh, you see that uh, they sold some bitcoin here and now they are adding Okay, Grayscale continues legal action against the SEC because they <coughs> were not able to <coughs> come out with this uh, spot ETF. Yeah, and the fear and greed and in index. Also, the sentiment, the average amount of Bitcoin circulation in July ends neutral after breaking four months price decline streak. So BTC ends neutral NVT model. <coughs> NVT is what? NVT net value. Okay. Cool. Let's go and check out our next news. <coughs> Bitcoin U, one of greatest bull markets as July gains circled 20%. So we already talked about that. It was 17%. Bart Simpson greets traders into BTC monthly close. And also we see the total liquidations are uh, also short positions have been liquidated quite a while looks like bitcoin has successfully retested the 200 week moving average ne negative funding has almost completely re reset just like in late march i think there is one final pop into the shaded area before the bear rally fizzles away we will look into on twitter one of the greatest bull markets could now await bitcoin okay 
July marked the uh, steepest di discount in Bitcoin history to its 100 and 200 week moving averages with implications for its recover. I see risk versus reward titled uh, favorably for one of the greatest bull markets in history. So the risk reward ratio uh, in the long term is a much much better now so you can uh, that means that we are much closer to the bottom than to the top and uh, the chance uh, uh, the axis uh, that how much times can the price go up from here is much much higher than the price can go further down next piece of news is crypto's a dry powder indicator just flipped here is what's next according to Will Clemente okay the dry powder is the stable coin ratio usd plus usdc and per total crypto market cap whenever the ratio reaches the top of the channel it indicates that there is a large amount of dry powder on the sidelines relative to crypto aggregated market cap <clears throat> as the market rallies there is a stronger likelihood of market participants becoming induced to chase the more dry power uh, powder uh, the more dry kindle there is for a spark to light on fire after posting this last month when the ratio reached the top of the channel it has begun to roll over so guys topped and rolling over and the bitcoin price so uh, here below this is the bitcoin price and you see when we have tops on this stable coin market caps then after that we see some nice nice movement to the upside upward bitcoin has only been this far below its 200 day moving average a handful of times two percent of the times each of which looked terrifying to buy at the moment but terrifying obviously in hindsight it has now reverted back no longer at the level of extreme deviation that has indicated market historical bottoms so guys you see when this 200 week moving average we were bitcoin were below and also this is the i think maybe the maya multiplier which indicates when the price is bottoming out but uh, and they are not talking about the maya multiplier here or maybe yeah this this indicating the days uh, that bitcoin was below the 200 week moving average so next piece of news is bitcoin price ice 24,000 july close at sentiment exit sphere zone yes it's a 200 moving average hard to get into any trade seriously yeah so we closed about so no problem for that summer really probably is it okay not important news is crypto bottom fully in ceo of five billion us dollar uh, digital asset fund says industries stresses peak in q2 so ceo of crypto fund panther capital dan morehead believes the worst of the crypto downturn may be over i think we are really close to the end in any leverage situation and particularly with DeFi smart contracts things to get liquidated pretty quickly and the market's actually been going down for eight months the high was in november so whatever stresses we were going to see in the system basically peaked in may and june we already have companies that are in bankruptcy court liquidating it feels like we have seen all that we have to the markets can start trading on fundamentals again there's a lot of skeptics on blockchain and many of them are promoting the view that DeFi failed and that really isn't true there are certainly some failures in the blockchain ecosystem but almost all of them are centralized lending counterparties which you know uh, really are essentially banks some of these entities operated just like banks took in short-term deposits for that long and then you had that old-fashioned run on the bank and people wanted their cash now and they were invested in things that didn't have liquidity it really is essentially that centralized lending companies that failed and almost all the DeFi protocols did very well 
important statement here. Cool. Next piece of news is historically accurate Bitcoin metric exists uh, exits uh, by zone in unprecedented 2022 bear market. So this is the pure multiplier lift offs, uh, but unique macro conditions mean what happens next is uncertain. Pure multiplier attempts to cement breakout. Based on historical data, the breakout from this zone was uh, accompanied by gaining bullish momentum in the price chart. So guys, this is the pure multiplier daily coin insurance divided by moving averages uh, the coin insurance and you see when the pure multiplier is uh, at this lowest level then this is marking the bottom uh, also on the Bitcoin price unprecedented macroeconomics conditions okay the realized price has signaled the market bottoms in previous cycles more importantly the bitcoin price didn't cross the realized price threshold during the last two periods uh, yet since june 2013 uh, it crossed back and forced these levels three times which shows the uniqueness of this cycle due to unprecedented macroeconomics conditions so just uh, we uh, crossed Bitcoin crossed the realized price just for now and now it is about that level and also the 200 week moving average as we will look into it next piece of news is crypto hedge fund veteran Mark Yusko predicts Bitcoin spring kicks off BTC move here is his timeline okay I will argue and I have been arguing this for about 10 days or so and I'm not ready to, uh, to absolutely call the bottom but if you go back about a week ago and you watch a podcast I did I said uh, you know what look we made three higher lows uh, it hit uh, 17,500 uh, then we went up and we fell to about uh, 18,000 US dollar something then we went up and then we went down to 19,000 and then we went up and there there was a number about 20,900 uh, 20, uh, and I said if we break 20,900 we will have three higher lows and three higher highs that's pretty good bull trend and maybe spring will be here okay he predicts that the next bull run will happen uh, in in before the next halving so I will argue that spring has sprung if you look at the last two cycles we are the same number of days into that cycles where spring began and winter ended spring could last months we don't have to have an immediate bull market then we uh, when we get to, to summer that's when we will get the next speculative move and my guess is that we will come in anticipation of the next halving in 2020 for so that was an interview with the stanbury research here is how bitcoin can reach 10 million us dollar per ptc so guys you heard uh what 10 billion according to crypto researcher crypto researcher the documenting bitcoin shared with his twitter followers bitcoin has the potential to become worth over 10 million a coin and here are some numbers gold total addressable market bitcoin capture uh, bitcoin full potential so if we are comparing to gold 5.2 times uh, we are comparing to cars and other collectibles 0 0.5 times fine art 3.4 times real estate almost 45 times stock market almost 20 times negative yielding bonds 16 times and low yielding bonds 100 and 100 and 117 times so if so bitcoin's full potential is 200 trillion us dollar so this is enormous those who deeply understand bitcoin tend to, to view its potential as at least that of code 13 trillion us dollar more than two-thirds 
of the 70, 700 plus millennial clients surveyed said that they think Bitcoin co competitors better against gold as a safe haven asset. Bitcoin has been around a little more than a decade, but already accounts for more than 3% of gold's 9 trillion market cap. Millionaires are to become an increasingly important market participants in the coming years, with the largest ever generational transfer of wealth predicted to be more than uh, 60 trillion from baby boomers to millennials taking place. So guys, also we should also take consideration these generational uh, shiftings. So BTC would need to do more than 400x from this its current valuation to fetch the hefty 10 million price tag. Next piece of news is this bullish chart pattern signals Bitcoin price rally to 48,000 is imminent. So this is from Carl Runefet, the Carl the Moon. Uh, he identified a bullish chart pattern that implies a massive rally in Bitcoin. And they are arguing, okay, so what if uh, 90,600 was the bottom? And then the bouncing liquidation of leverage positions seems to be over. Successful bounces from the range could give bulls a solid foundation for a continued rally. Bitcoin balance on exchanges sees macro decline. According to Glassnode, Bitcoin exchange balances witness the macro outflow of more than 4.6% of the circulating supply after reaching an all-time high on March 2020. So balances on exchanges were peaked uh, in Ma March 2020 and now just uh, they are going down here and almost 13% of the total supply balance on exchanges continues its macro decline to 12.6% of the circulating supply. So from 16 to 12.6. Bitcoin has seen a near complete expo explosion of market tourists, leaving the resolve of hodlers as the last standing. So guys, this is indicating when Bitcoin's leaving exchanges uh, we will come to the point when there will be less Bitcoin on exchanges than the buyers wants to pick up. Next piece of news is Charles Schwab's asset management arm launches crypto linked ETF. So Charles Schwab is a huge uh, American uh, wealth man manager and, and investment asset management firms and they are launching a crypto uh, thematic ETF and uh, and it will be available on the new york uh, stock exchange for trading and, and it will have a direct exposure to bitcoin but, but what it is this is not a spot bitcoin etf so it's just kind of a digital asset etf for investors who are interested in cryptocurrency exposures there is a wall ecosystem to consider as more companies seek to der derive revenue from crypto directly and indirectly. The SEC hasn't approved spot Bitcoin ETFs. Okay, cool. So they are in, uh, offering indirect, indirect exposure to crypto through futures contracts. So they are offering exposure through future contracts. Ether fans versus Bitcoin Maxis analysts sparked uh, uh, the debate of Ethereum overtaking Bitcoin. So also Vitaly Buterin said that the merge hasn't been priced in. Uh, let's quote, I keep hearing people repeating the questions when flipping, even though there is no guarantee this will ever happen, just looking at the numbers it doesn't it does seem like this event is getting closer by day by day. The flipping is very possible. We have a favorable, favorable view of Ethereum, so that changing dynamic. Uh, but theoretically, while for Ethereum's price relative to Bitcoin, especially in an environment of tightening. And yes, the, here is a chart that ETH, so Ethereum, projected deflation post-merge. So you see now Ethereum has inflation almost 
almost four three percent uh, annually and uh, also it will reach and going under zero so that will be deflation so with the coin burns and all others next piece of news is ethereum could unexpectedly explode back to all, all new all-time highs amid ethereum 2.0 hype says top trader and he is kaleo or she we don't know because anonymous traders okay let's quote ethereum market cap could surpass that of bitcoins if anything has a chance of making it back to the highs from here is ethereum BTC runs up to 32,000 or so and Ethereum BTC manages to retest the previously all-time high of 1.15 BTC pre-merge you are looking at an ETH price of 4,800 don't think we see much past that but the hype of the flipping narrative will be the only thing you see on the timeline if Ethereum gets anywhere close to those levels when we are there we are most likely at peak euphoria and you should definitely consider taking profit higher likelihood scenario in my opinion is most likely a resistance and market cap ratio all-time high of 0.72 which is the 56 percent high from where we are now equating that the eth btc ratio of uh, closer to 0.72 uh, and the respective eth price of 3000 uh, 600 given the 32,000 BTC scenario above so this is a good news for Ethereum and Ethereum price in Bitcoin as you see on this chart guys and let's go to our next news Facebook's metaverse will misfire says Vitalik Buterin so the metaverse is going to happen he doesn't think any of the current attempts for from corporates uh, that such as mark zuckerberg's meta are going anywhere so Vitaly buterin thinks that they will not going anywhere with their own metaverse we don't really know the definition of the metaverse yet it's far too early to know what people actually want so anything facebook creates now will misfire so he's really critical about facebook meta because he thinks this is not a real metaverse just uh, um, just uh, these uh, glasses virtual glasses and and so on okay so this is just about high interactive 3d online r vr and uh, AR. next piece of news is 900 million ripple uh, unlocked from escrow wallet so this is huge whale alert reporting that also 900 million us uh, 900 million uh, xrp tokens uh, or coins were unlocked okay yeah so maybe they will mm, sell on the market but not sure guys let's go and check out my twitter feed definitely follow me at uh, on twitter and also follow laser pangats our nft launchpad project give a like and share you find me at miklos dankler and you find laser pangats uh, uh, at laser punk underscore gods so let's do the math uh, 1000 us dollar invested 10 years ago and Bitcoin would uh, worth 3.5 million. Oh, guys, cool! Let's give a like and share. <clears throat> the pure multiply is one of the most reliable bottoming indicator for Bitcoin, as it representing miners' profitability, as you see here. Just check it out. Funding rate showing an indicator that the final run to 30,000 is still in cards before dropping to new lows is this bitcoin double bottom playing out uh, this trader expecting bitcoin to reach almost 40,000 and then 
dipping uh, uh, below 20,000. Some similarities on the Bitcoin chart, yes, so after this pullback, a huge uh, bull run started. So guys, let's go and share and like all these things here. Let's go and uh, visit our farms. Uh, if you are holding ARC20 version, go to Uniswap. If you are holding Binance Smart Chain version, Corai, let's go to PancakeSwap. Provide some liquidity and earn up a juicy 330% APRs. So guys, let's go and check the charts. Let's see what happening there. As where are we now? I don't find my chart. Okay, no problem. So guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Bye bye.